I'm going to show you how to fit a, a BSA Huma regulator to, this is an ultra single shot, um, it's a fairly recent model, um, there's not many of them about but you can still get them. Um, first of all make sure the rifle is completely empty and has no air left in it or any pellets. Um, this one is empty. Um, right, grab yourself a 3mm Allen key, you want to uh, loosen this bolt here. Um, hang on to the bolt handle when you loosen this because you don't want the bolt twisting in the breech because it can cause damage. Okay. Pull the bolt and the little collar out, get them out the way. Then you want a flat screwdriver to remove this blanking plug. And your 3mm Allen key again. Make sure you remove this bolt completely, um, otherwise it'll stop you from doing the next step. They can sometimes be caught up in the plastic guide, which can make them tricky to get out. I'll, I'll get that out in a second, I'll show you how I'm going to do it. Then you want to remove the trigger mechanism. Again, it's a 3mm. Some of them have a 4mm um, head on them, but it's either the 3 or 4. You might notice this is fairly easy to come undone. It's because it's been apart before, so um, all the anti tampers and everything else have been removed. Trigger mechanism out the way. Right, I mentioned I'd go back to this bolt. Now that it's open, you can poke it out from this end. There we go. Right. Now, you'll notice you can't do anything here, so what you need to do is get a pokey device. There's a little hole in the side of the action. Just poke something in there. And then push it back and that's push the bolt back. You're basically unlatching the bolt because the bolt latches in there. Push that back and then you can now see the um, grub screw, uh, sorry not grub screw, um, the bolt again three millimeter. Undo that, move that. Right now put a breech down and tube up and then there we go. The whole thing lifts out. There's a ball and a spring, so just watch out for that. Um, make sure the O-ring is still in that hole where the transfer port locates. Right, put that aside. Right, now uh, the transfer port will come out. You'll swap that for um, either a, a bigger port that you've bought, or you can drill your port out to around 45 millimeters. Um, I'm going to unscrew this. Obviously, there's no air in it. If there was air in it, I wouldn't be able to do this because the air will lock it up. Remove that. Right, um, ignore this. Your rifle more than likely won't have one of those. Um, the regulator, it comes preset. Um, see there's some green bond lock on it just to stop it from turning. Leave it where it is, it's set for your rifle. Um, make sure this is all clean, O-rings in good condition. Screw this on. When you screw it on, screw it on most of the way, but leave about a millimeter gap, and I'll explain why in a minute. In a minute, then screw your air cylinder on after making sure it's all clean inside. You notice know, I'm holding this so that it doesn't close up that gap. Right, the reason I've left this gap is you can see this moves because. Basically, the only thing holding this hammer tube on is this um, uh, stock fixing bolt stud. So, if you tighten it up all the way, what can sometimes happen is that um, it pushes this too far that way, and then the, the uh, transfer port won't fit in because the holes no longer line up. So, if you leave this a bit loose, it, it lets this move so that you can pop the transfer port into its hole. Um, you can tighten these up once the action's back together. Um, right, so 
Let's check this, make sure it's all hunky dory, o rings are all good and all in place, and I'm happy with that. The ball and spring are in place. Um, pull the pull this back so that it goes in behind the uh, pin there that you can see the banjo. Um, pop that back on, line it up, give it a little wiggle, hold it together. Now screw that screw back in that you removed previously. Right, once that's in and nipped up, um, you'll see we've still got that gap, which is fine. Um, now you can tighten it up because everything's in place. It only needs to be hand tight. You don't need to do anything silly with grips or anything because the O-ring does the sealing. Um, and now we can continue, push that forward, push that forward, push the probe all the way in, pop your hammer spring and spring guide back in, the um, adjuster can go back in, Um, you will notice that this adjuster has the cap is free on this one. Um, they're normally glued on. There is a, a video on how to um, unstick them and also it's a little tool that helps you to unstick them. Um, let's pop that on, line the holes up. Um, you can either put the bolt in from the top right now or you can put the trigger mechanism in. It's six of one, half a dozen of another. Um, obviously it's spring loaded so you've got to hang on to it otherwise it wants to take off. And then this screw, sometimes you can drop it in from the top, but it gets stuck on the plastic, so you've got to give it a little push. Make sure it lines up. And your bolt handle back in. Hold the bolt handle, same as before, you don't want it twisting. Um, once you've got the angle you like, hang on to it and then nip the um, nip the bolt up. There you go. Then pop that back in. Sometimes you can put a little drop of um, Loctite or nail varnish or whatever you like on these just to stop them loosening because they're only held in by a couple of threads. They can sometimes work loose when you're using the rifle. Um, it doesn't need don't, don't tighten it in too tight, otherwise it'll grab hold of the bolt. It's literally just a blanking plug. The head should be level with the top of the um, breech block. Um, there you go, one rifle with the humor regulator. Obviously now you're going to need to um, fill it and then run it over the chrono and um, if the power needs to be adjusted. Um, there is a video about power adjustment. I've started doing these little tools which help. You don't have to have this tool but it just helps um, to get the um, power adjusted easily. Um, and then once you're all done, you screw the back cap back on, put it back in the stock and go shooting. There we go.